Hey y'all, Phyllis here, southernfrugal.com. Well, it's already gotten dark. I've got a few lights on in here, uh, but I don't want to put all of them on because we're just on a 15 watt whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, I tried to get Mr. Bucky to come out here and uh, show y'all the channels that we have for free, but he said he's way too tired. He is um, working on understanding all about the motor. Can y'all see me? It's really dark in here. There. Anyway, um, so the big thing today with him was the fuel water separator and where it's located on the motor. And he's very irritated. <laughs> very. So anyway, uh, he asked me to, uh, to see if I could help him look tomorrow. But um, the understanding from reading the uh, owner's manual is that you need to um, release that valve to let the water come out because somehow water is in the gas or diesel, some, something like that. Anyway, I told him I would help him look. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll help. Yeah. Anyway, so I finished the little uh, thing where we removed the TV. And I do think it looks pretty good, if I must say so myself. And also, I think it's going to be nice because I can, um, that TV being so high up, that case thing that it was in, kind of blocked a little bit of my vision when I was driving over on the, towards the right. So, uh, nothing dangerous, of course, but it did kind of block the vision there. So that's gone now and here's what it looks like and there's our TV there it is right there so what I did uh, the inside of it was just bare wood so I used some of that fake granite stuff that you peel off it's got a sticky backing and it glues on kind of reminds me of wallpaper but thicker Anyway, let's go up and look at this. Now, we've got it on a local channel now. This is a really good picture, by the way. And this is a Samsung TV. So here we are. And this is the cable thing to hook up when we're at a campground. But under here, well, wait a minute. Oops, sorry, y'all. Sorry, here we come back. There, I hit the button. We've got a little space in here because I just used the wood that was here to make this little thing. And uh, that what's behind there is all the uh, uh, hoses for the heater. And there might be some wiring too. But anyway, there's the antenna. I've just got it laying down there, which works fine as you can see on this channel. And there, uh, I don't know, they, I think he told me there's about 13 channels. I was hoping he would come in here and tell y'all what he's got. He's got his sports, a couple of, at least of sports channels. But anyway, there's that antenna. Got a lot of wires. I'm going to have to use some zip ties or something on those. And uh, so they're not so much in the way there. And see, we got a plug-in down there. There's also a plug-in back here, right up under there. Also, this is some kind of tape deck. I've never seen anything like that, but anyway, somebody before us has got it wired in. So I was looking for where it was wired to, and I couldn't find it, so I didn't want to be digging all around in there. But it was back oh, in here. He's got it. Oh, y'all can't see that, can you? I can't even see it. Let's see. There. So he's got it wired in there. I couldn't quite find where it was wired in but I'm sure Mr. Bucky can probably find it anyway you know we might just try that out and see if it works but I've never seen anything like it and I'm 70 years old I should have seen something like that it's clarion and somehow this pushes back or opens up we haven't figured it out yet it probably opens up I don't know. Maybe it works. Anyway, isn't that a great picture? Look at that. So what we're trying to do is figure out... Let me turn the camera around. Oh, that light. Oh, sorry, y'all.